What's up guys, Parker here with another Power BI 3 minute tip. A couple weeks ago I showed you how you could run Python scripts to clean your data. In today's video I'm going to give you a basic introduction into some of the plotting capabilities of Python and show you how to use a Python visual. So I'm going to show you how to create these four charts that you see on the screen. The top two are just basic charts such as scatter charts and a bar chart. And then the bottom two are a little more advanced showing a violin chart which is great for statistical analysis and a pair plot which is really great for correlation analysis so these are actually all pretty easy to do so let's go ahead and dive into the video so i have some data here it's actually called the drinks data set and if you want to look at it it's basically the number of servings for different types of alcohol for different countries for people on average it also shows the total uh, liters of pure alcohol drank by the average person in that country. So it's kind of cool and fun data set to uh, practice some visualization with. So we will go ahead and open up a new page and we're going to start by creating that first scatter chart. And to do so, we're going to need a couple of packages installed. Remember, a package is basically a uh, pre bundled bit of code that we can use to call functions that will make our lives a lot easier. So if you watched my previous video on Python, you should already have the pandas package installed. If not, go ahead and uh, make sure you have Python installed first and foremost. And once you do, we will go ahead and install a few packages here. So we're going to install uh, Python for those who don't have it by typing in py-m pip install pandas. And I already have it, so it won't. I won't need to do anything here. So once you install pandas, you'll also need uh, pi-m pip install matplotlib. And to be specific, pandas is a way that we can interact with our data in tabular format. Matplotlib is the basic and kind of standard plotting library for Python, so you'll definitely need that. So go ahead and run that to install matplotlib. And once we have that, we can create those first two graphs. So once we have those uh, two packages installed, go ahead and click on the Python visual. If it asks you if you want to enable scripts, only select yes if you're dealing with a new workbook or a workbook that you trust. So if you click yes, it will go ahead and create this Python visual here. And in the bottom, we have our Python script editor, but we can't do anything with it. And this is really similar to the R um, editor if you've dealt with R visuals. But in order for this to work, we're going to need to bring in some data. So let's go ahead and bring in a couple fields. We'll take in beer servings. And the moment we add something in, it shows us with an, uh, some comments here and an area for us to type some Python code. Uh, let's also bring in a, another field. We'll bring in total liters of pure alcohol. And we will go ahead and start typing below it. Just so you can read through it, the comments are basically saying, hey, the fields you passed in are now passed into a dan uh, data frame, a pandas data frame called dataset. And it, uh, Python has automatically dropped duplicate rows by using the drop duplicates function. So you have your final data set with no duplicates and we can create our scatter plot. Uh, first thing we need to do is import the matplotlib library in order for us to use the plotting functions. So we do that by typing in import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. PLT is just the alias, so we don't have to type in matplotlib.pyplot uh, matplot the entire time. And what we need to do here is we can type in PLT, our alias, and type in plot. And now we're using the plot function. It's really basic. It just takes in an X, a Y, and some formatting options. So if we type in dataset.beer uh, servings, uh, that's one of our fields. Beer servings is one of the values we passed in comma data set dot total liters of pure alcohol uh, if I spell alcohol right al alcohol and we click run we will result in an error because we are not actually plotting that yet it's kind of confusing but this is creating the plot we also have to show the plot and in order to show the plot, we just need to type in plt.show. And that will show us our scatter plot. Or it's actually not going to be a scatter plot. It's actually going to be a line chart. I also forgot to mention, in order for these plots to work as expected, you're going to have to take off the summarization. By default, it's, by, uh, it's sum. We need to type in or cr uh, click on don't summarize. We'll also click on don't summarize for the other field. And now we get the line chart we were expecting. So by default, uh, by default, matplotlib will create a line chart, a blue line chart specifically. 
but we can pass in some formatting options to create a scatter chart or a dashed line chart or a line chart with dots. So to do so, we click, uh, we type in comma and uh, O is basically a scatter chart. So we can go ahead and run that. We can also type in dash for a line chart or we can type in dash dash for a dashed line chart. And also, if you add a letter in front of the formatting option, it can specify the color. So we can type in R dash dash for a red dashed line chart. Or let's say for our purpose, let's type in G and O dash for a green uh, scatter chart with the lines connecting them. That's kind of cool, but we just want a scatter chart. So we're just gonna type in GO for green scatter chart. And that looks pretty good. So now we just want to add some uh, X and Y axis labels. So we'll type in PLT dot X label and you can name it whatever you want. So our X is beer servings and we'll do the same for the Y. So PLT dot Y label. Now also need to spell label correctly. And we will type in alcohol. It's very hard for me to spell alcohol leaders close that off and let's go ahead and run that we should have our finished scatter plot and there we go we see beer servings and alcohol leaders for the y axis label so that's our entire scatter chart and it's pretty easy to create um, so let's go ahead and create that bar chart since i'm sure some of you will want to show bar charts at some point there actually aren't too many changes that we need to make in order to uh, make this change all we have to do is really type in bar so instead of the plot function we're using the bar function and we need to get rid of this formatting option because it is no longer necessary that we pass in a formatting option for a scatter plot uh, uh, scatter plot so go ahead and click run and we have our uh, our bar chart so it's really easy to go between those two different kinds of charts it makes it really fun to switch between those visuals so let's go ahead and carry on and create this nice violin plot in case you're into doing some statistical analysis, um, you can go ahead and create these violin plots. They're actually very similar to box plots, but they give you a little bit more information and I'll walk you through that in just a second. So let's go ahead and delete this code. And I'm actually gonna bring in uh, some different fields here. I'm gonna bring in the continent from my other table. And I'm gonna bring in wine servings and I also want to make sure that these are not summarized. So now that they're not summarized, I can go ahead and start typing in my code. So we want to keep import matplotlib.pyplot the same, but we also need a new package. It's called the Seaborn package, which is basically a wrapper that goes around matplotlib, but allows us to create a lot nicer looking graphs and some more advanced uh, graphs like you'll see. So we're going to follow the same steps to download that package. And we will do that by typing in pi-m pip install seaborn. Once that's installed, we can use it down here. We'll import it the same way by typing in import seaborn as sns. Now that that's imported, we can call sns.violinplot and we need to set an x parameter. We'll set that equal to dataset and we can specify our column name with this syntax. So X equals data set continent, whereas Y equals data set uh, wine servings. Uh, wine servings. And we're gonna set the color because we want it to be blue. We're gonna set palette equal to blues. It's a built-in theme for this um, plot. And finally, to show it, we need the same plt.show. We're creating the plot with the violin plot function. We need to show it with a plt.show. So let's go ahead and click run. And we get a nice violin plot showing uh, the distribution of wine servings by continent. And it's a really cool plot. I'm gonna run this again just to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, it's a really cool plot because it shows you a lot of different things. One, the outside uh, kind of view here is just the distribution of those wine servings per continent. But as you get into it, you can see more stuff in the middle, such as the 
uh, larger rectangle shows the distribution of data that's within 95%. Um, so 95% of the data is held within that rectangle. The smaller line shows 50% of the data is within that range. And finally, that little dot in the middle shows the median average of your data. So you can get a lot of information just from this one plot. Uh, looking at this, it's kind of interesting that Europe has this really nice distribution of wine servings, whereas Asia or North America, most people are held within this kind of low range close to what I would say is around 15 to 20, whereas more towards the extremes, you have a lot less people doing that. So that's kind of cool to see. Uh, finally, I'm going to take you through and show you a pair plot. Pair plots are really cool because they allow you to see different correlations in your data, and we're not going to actually have to change very much either. So to create that pair plot, I just need to change violin plot to pair plot, and we can get rid of all the parameters here, and instead, all you have to do is pass in the entire data set. So let's go ahead and take in all of our extra columns here from our drinks table. So uh, we'll type, uh, throw in beer, country, spirit servings. So now we have beer, spirit, wine, and total liters of pure alcohol. Let's go ahead and run it. And once it runs, you're going to see the correlation between different um, between the different columns. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and make that a little bit bigger so that we can read. So we can see that beer servings on the rows against beer serving on the columns is just showing the histogram of beer servings. So you see as the diagonal goes down, it just shows the histogram of that column to show the number of occurrences of each bucket. Whereas if we compare beer servings to spirit servings, we see the distribution of how that correlates. So it's a really cool idea. And just to um, make a quick note, country is not being shown on here because this only deals uh, with our numeric data. Um, so if we wanted to show country, we would need to cast it as kind of an integer or do some encoding to create those text values and turn them into um, integers to show on this pair plot. But this is a really cool plot that I recommend you do in case you're doing some exploratory data analysis uh, on a new data set and you want to see how these columns interact with each other. This is a really cool idea to show. Um, so that basically wraps up our four plots that I wanted to show you. They're pretty, uh, pretty easy to write and you can do them pretty quickly. I hope you liked the video and I hope you're gonna dive into Python. Maybe you're already an expert or you just wanna start learning, but this is a really cool and fun way to actually dive into Python. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next Power BI 3 Minute Tip.